Okay, so in this tutorial I will show you how to do a height analysis on a pivot wheel track area that has already been edited uh, and the original ground combined with the wheel track model. Right, secondly switch off other pivots. Now in the wheel track session you already drew some strings so we're going to use those strings now and what I'll do is I'll just create an extra string just to create a wider area so I'll go to strings add new string and go parallel and check check the outside string and let's call that 50 meters All right now we will do a cut and fill now I presently have data in project 1 and project 3 so 1 is your original ground and 3 is your adopted or um, manipulated ground in this case it's going to be called the design model so we would go to terrace and we would go to defaults set your ground as one and your design as three design is the adopted new model we will then go cut and fill and we will use grid area on the output page add your depths to project 4 which is the next open project and we would say indicate any area there's two options here use option number 2 choose GXT strings and then choose that extra string we just added that is now the defined area and it will only do a volume inside that area Okay, make sure that the current area is displayed and say accept and allow the program to do the volume right so the volume is finished and we have our result cut volume 31,000 cubes full volume 16,800 cubes and you can print this report if you like, copy it, this is text, you can copy and paste it into any other software. Now I'm going to activate project 4, switch off the display of 1 and 3, and you will also see in my plot parameters, I've told the program not to show any codes with neutral points, so you can just click view database, click on neutral, and it will add it to the list and say not and then it will only show points that are cut and full All right now we will generate a triangle surface of that And I go back to my pivot tool, go to defaults, switch on the spokes. Oh, and irrigation must be displayed, that's quite important. And go to my plot parameters and then copy that pivot to CAD. And then I will go to my CAD text, rescale button, and I'll just scale my text by 10 just to see the spans labels I don't need my irrigation anymore so I can switch that off now this is the first step okay I just want to quickly show you how to get the extents of your height analysis bearing in mind we're still in project 4 and that's where the height differences just the cut and fill differences I just want to show you what that looks like actually so if I go magnify, I just want to zoom in on some of those points there. Really zoom in quite a bit so we can see the DTM elevations separately. Maybe switch on the codes. So you can see if I go to point view edit and click on one of those points, I made my text really small. So the cut values will be a negative value. Right, so 
just on the topic of the text size, that's also on plot parameters. I changed my text screen size to 0 0.15. Let's make that a little bit bigger. All right. Now you know where that comes from. Let's zoom right out again. Okay. So to get the extents, I go to point ID and I might as well invert, which means all the points will be ID. Then I go to man ID and then run this report. And it will tell you your lowest and your highest Z as well as your average Z. So you can see I'm filling up to 4.7 meters and I'm cutting down to 2.219 meters in certain areas. So we'll bear that in mind for the next step. Just go ID new, just in case we didn't, we'll need that again. Now, without having module 3, I can do a height analysis with the 3D module. And it works like this. You go to 3D, virtual 3D. You might have to install DirectX if you don't have it already. It's a Microsoft function, so get it from the Microsoft website. It's called DirectX. And switch your lines on. And we're going to see what that will do just now. And we go to set surface colors. It's project four we're going to view. So that's the color we want to define is for project four. And we make sure it is color by surface height. And then we're going to say use height analysis colors. So we go to analysis colors. And then we set our height interval. Close that and just view it. All right, so the CAD is below the model at the moment. We want to see that on top of the model. And then I can add also add a vertical distortion, which would ex just exaggerate the areas a bit. So if you want to, you can give your client a 3D model like this. Or you can just view it from the top view and copy this to the clipboard. But before we do that, we want to see the CAD spans and all of that on top of this. So we'll close this. And I'm going to go to my data. Go to general. Constants and code changes. Make sure you deselect DTM project. We do not want to change the height of the DTM right now. But we do want to change the height of the CAD. And I'm going to add a, let's say, about a 8 meters height difference to the cat. And then run that 3D again. See if it has an effect. Uh, almost there, slightly, almost just touching it. So we're going to add some more height there. So in this step, you could have just added, instead of using 8, you could have added maybe 15 or so. So I'm going to just add, let's say about another 5 meters. Alright, so now I can see my CAD on top of my DTM. I still don't see the text on here because the 3D doesn't like to show too much text. They are there. They're just very small. So what I will do is I will just add a north arrow, something like that, on this. And I can send this to the client. This would be my first step without module 3. Now I'm going to show you how you would do this if you had module 3. So I'm going to go to my analysis functions. And I'm going to go do a height analysis. Right, I made the zero elevation white on purpose so that anything that is a color is either a cut or a fill. So I'll leave that white. 
and then I'll copy this analysis to CAD as a bitmap. It will ask me where do I want to save this. I can give it a name, give it a pivot one. Say save and the analysis is done. And it creates a legend for me, which I can just plunk down there. Let's go and zoom in on that. So you'll have the height intervals as defined colors. And you'll see a pretty plan with the spans written on them, which you can then plot to your plotter and give to your client.